Certainly when we talk about, in the New York Film Festival, films that push various kinds of envelopes, one of them has to do with subject matter. And indeed, I think the festival over the years has really been at the forefront of a lot of social and political movements. For example, the works of Fassbender or films such as Taxi Zoom Klo in the 70s were extraordinarily brave statements about what at that point was a kind of new and burgeoning gay consciousness. That consciousness has, of course, continued and developed over the years to the point that no longer is it merely the announcement about gay lifestyles or gay and lesbian uh, among us in a way, but in fact films that often look at very difficult sides of that world as well. To Die Like a Man is really, I think, a great sort of film in this tradition. Here's a film about a man who's a cabaret performer. He performs in drag. He's already beginning to be a little bit over the hill. His age is beginning to sort of be more and more of a factor in terms of him getting jobs and whatever. There's a lot of young competition nipping at his heels. He has a very problematic relationship both with his young boyfriend and also with his young son, a young man who's now in his, in his 20s. And in a way, the complexity of this man's life is really what's really the great achievement of the film. He's more than just simply a cabaret performer. It's more than simply about a man who lives a drag lifestyle. It's about a man who has all of those things and yet has a range of other deep human and uh, personal complexities about him as well.